Well hello and welcome to our midweek message this uh, last week of January. It's my first of 2021 but can you believe we're nearly at the end of January? I've been thinking quite a bit this week about the body of Christ. You know that picture that the Apostle Paul paints in 1 Corinthians 12 of the church being like a body with every part playing its part and every part having a different part to play. And the body only works well when every part plays its part well. So I can bring you this message today. I've just about learnt how to record in my own home, how to upload it somewhere, although I don't really understand where, but that's my limit. The clever bit of editing and of putting it on the website so that it's accessible to you is done by Laura. We each play our part to make it happen. And I love verse 18 of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, where Paul writes this, but in fact, God has placed the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. We all have a part to play. And what's true of the church is also true in life. As we watch the news day by day uh, during these challenging times of living with the pandemic, I'm sure that you, like me, are often humbled by and incredibly grateful to all those who are working on the front line to keep life going. Those working in the NHS, in schools, in nurseries, in essential shops, support services, parents, uh, homeschooling kids at the moment, but people doing what they do to keep life going. And every so often we catch a little window into the reality, the cost, the challenge that this is for people. Perhaps we bump into somebody in the road who tells us just how tough life is for them or for their partner at this time as they're working. And standing watching on, we can feel pretty helpless. But you know, we can all play a part in supporting the whole. I've been reminded a couple of times this last week of the story in Exodus chapter 17. Joshua's leading the Israelites in a battle against the Amalekites down in the valley. And Moses is stood on the hill above, praying for him, arms outstretched. And as long as Moses keeps his arms outstretched, Joshua and the Israelites are prevailing in battle. But the moment that he lowers them, the Amalekites start pressing in. But there's a problem because Moses' arms get tired. He starts to flag. So Aaron and her come and stand alongside him. They hold up his arms so he can pray. And as he prays, so Joshua and the Israelites win. They each had a part to play. And we can join in that work of prayer in supporting our brothers and sisters those working on the front line. We've created a prayer wall on the St Michael's Church website and we would love you to take a look at it, to add um, people and situations that we can be praying for, adding some prayer cover for at this time and also to use it in your own personal prayers so that we can stand together and support those who are pouring themselves out to make life happen. So the prayer wall on the website, take a look and let's do this. We are in this together, each playing our part. So that's just about it for now. I hope you have a good week. We miss you so much. It's so hard not being able to meet together at the moment, isn't it? But please know that you're in our thoughts, you're in our prayers, and we're really looking forward to the time when we can connect again. But until then, take care. God bless. Have a good day. Bye.